dash pad is cracked, pretty typical of a 38 year old Jeep. <coughs> and the rest of the interior is actually pretty nice with the exception of the driver's seat. <coughs> Excuse me. So the seat frame is broken in here and that's why the seat is sitting crooked, cockeyed. Uh, the fix to that is you gotta take uh, all the material off. Um, not too hard of a job to do and you have to weld up the frame. Um, you know, it can be done, but it's a very minor project. So expect to fix that or drive it as is. Back seat's nice with the exception of these holes. Not really sure why the holes are there. Nice OEM Wico saddlebags. Carpet kit has been replaced. So this is an ACC carpet kit. Very nice shape. Driver's side floorboard has a little bit of pitting. Uh, it's hard to see, it's too dark, but I'll capture that better in a photo. But there's there's no rust on the sheath anywhere. Just like I said, a little bit of pitting on the driver's side floorboard. And uh, let's get a quick video of the engine running. Let's put our brake on. Take it out of gear. Clockworks, horn, tack works, temp works, fuel works is full, fuel, uh, brake light works, all the gauges work pretty much. Right, right turn signal, left turn signal, I haven't tried the fan yet, yep, heater fan. Wipers. Wipers do not work, so I suspect a bad wiper motor. Lights. Lights are on, they're on in the cluster. Okay, California Serpentine motor. Just give it some gas here. It actually runs and drives excellent. See the color code right here is 3K. It's cinnamon metallic. And there, there's absolutely no rot on this Jeep anywhere. No power brakes, but it has power steering. Had hood insulation because it's Laredo. That insulation is not on there, uh, so you can add some hood insulation. Collins Brothers and a few other people sell it. Brand new front frame cover, nice shape. And that's it. We'll take it for a ride.